This is also we have another phenomenon that we call the collision. Because we learned the momentum conservation in the physics class. So on ground, if we want to do the experiment for a conversation, the a conservation of momentum, we normally use Newton's cradle. But here in space, we have a simpler system for us to demonstrate a conservation of momentum. Let's take a look. So are you ready, Mr. Zhu? Yes. I'm ready for the next one. Here you go. So you could see here, we actually hidden a special tool. So you could see that this was the, a small grid that's a 10 cm times 10 cm in size. So this is a grading close. Let me take a steel ball with me. So that's a 500 grams and 49.5 millimeter. So here I have a same steel bolt. So let me throw it to collide with the one that's in the stationary mode. So let's check the conservation of momentum. My first try. You got another try. So keep it straight. Do your best. All right. So this is a very nice one. So let me also try it out. Very nice one. So you could see that this tool that is still actually the, the balls, when they collide between the objects, actually you could see and before collision and after collision, you could see whether this also, that the law of the momentum conservation actually ob observed or not. Actually, we could see that the total momentum of the system of the object is conserved or not. That's a question for you. Let me also try a small ball. Let's see whether that's something different. Let's do a collision again. All right, that's not really strict collision. And try again. So, control my hands. Let's see whether that's a direct impact. Yes. Very nice one. I give you a chance. So, I give you a full mark. A very nice direct impact. All right. I keep one steel ball in stationary states. Very, very nice one as well. All right, you could see that the small ball after is collide with the big ones and then the small one back to Mr. Zhu. And also the a big ones actually continue the motion along the trajectory. So let's change a little bit. Let me use the bigger one to hit the smaller one. All right, you could see after collision, the two balls actually still move. All right. So let me show you again. So use the bigger one to hit the smaller one. You could see that the same situation happened again. So after calculation, I believe you can find that that's not this experiment, this collision, either is direct impact or not direct impact, actually all follow the law of the conservation of a momentum. Actually, the physician who first actually mentioned this 
the law actually did not really do the experiment under these kind of the conditions. It used the very basic logics and the simple conditions actually propose this law and also move the whole physics develop further. And that's also laid the foundation for us to really do the experiment here today, even in space. I believe that let's salute to the great physicians.